Hi everybody, today I'm recording in the garden because it's nice and sunny, so I thought, you know, why not? And it also gives me better lighting, so that helps. Um, I am a bit scared because my laptop and the camera are standing on this rickety table and I'm sitting on this, this iron chair. This thing. And I don't trust it, so I feel like any moment if I move too much I might, you know, impale myself. But anyway, um... Today we are reviewing a book about elves, which is not a genre that I actually like, you know, um, elves are just not my thing. Uh, so I didn't really think this book would be all too great, you know, I was like, you know, it's Christian fantasy, and that's why I'm going to try it out, and we're going to just try to forget it's about elves. Um, the book is called To Be Called Worthy by Penny Johnston, and it is about a girl or an elf named Cassandra. And in Cassandra's world, only an elect few are allowed to have magic, and they are the worthy, and every young elf with magic must make a choice, join the tyrannical elite, or be drained of their magic. When Cassandra makes her choice, it has terrible consequences. Her brother Rinnan is devastated, and resolves to do whatever it takes to get his sister back. But what can he, a young trainee, do against the mighty clerics? So, that sounds pretty exciting, and the best part was I received a free copy in exchange for an honest review, and that's always nice, uh, so that is one of the reasons I got Goodreads, to be honest, to get into contact with offers and get deals like that, so I like that. Um, another thing that made me a bit skeptical was because this is a new offer, I think this is actually her debut, which, you know, sometimes they're really good and sometimes they have a lot to improve on, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, but now, here we go, tell, to tell you what I actually did think, the book was a lot better than I thought it would be. Now, firstly, I already said it was Christian fantasy, uh, which means there was, which you usually have is that there was a portrayal of the maker, which then, of course, is God. And I really appreciated the portrayal, I thought it was very beautiful. And it was also very interesting how the culture of the elves in the book is more interested in shame and worthiness, whereas our Western culture is more about punishment and mercy. Uh, the great thing is that Jesus' sacrifice works either way. I didn't think it was a great idea, however, to make the villains be clerics, because although at the end they were shown to be clearly not on the maker's side, uh, I felt it perpetuated the myth of, you know, the church being a negative influence throughout history, and I just didn't really like that. Um, some of the content was also a bit too edgy for me, even when the author clearly condemned it. But that's just me, though. The family relationships in To Be Called Worthy were very cute, and I loved seeing both men and women treat the bonds as important. Uh, I feel we miss that a lot in books nowadays, with people gravitating more towards the found family trope. And that's nice, but I think it's a lot better when the actual family is being modeled as a good institution. What I liked less when it came to relationships was the romance. It felt rather forced to me, as if the author wanted it, wanted it to be there, but didn't actually know how to go about making it so. Mental problems in this book are portrayed, portrayed in a very magical way, and by that I don't mean like glittery, but I mean this... We can basically take a look inside someone with problems. Uh, and I'm going to admit, I didn't always get how it worked, you know, when we went inside somebody's mind, but the main idea got through and it was pretty cool. On the other hand, what I didn't like was how a certain mentally disabled character talks like a child. And the reason I disliked it was, one, it didn't even sound like the speech of a child. And, you know, dumbing down grammar and leaving out words, that doesn't automatically make it childish. I don't really know how people with ment mental disabilities talk, at least not with the mental disabilities she had, because I have met some and they talk just fine, but I guess it depends on, you know, how disabled someone is. So I can't really say anything about that, but I'm pretty sure they don't really talk the, the dumbed down way that this person did either. I just think that uh, basically the point was that this character went down to a level of uh, that her mind was again at the mental capacity of a very young child. So the author was trying to show the speech patterns of a child and I just don't think she got that down quite right. Um, but despite that, despite some of the negative parts, I would still recommend To Be Called Worthy for Christian fantasy lovers. There are plenty of funny, exciting, and emotional moments, and the message about forgiveness and elevation through Christ was portrayed well. 
There are some lesser sides to the book, like I said, but that's normal and they're not bad enough as to be incredibly distracting. And, of course, it's also a nice way to support indie Christian authors who are trying to make the world of literature a better place.